How's it going everybody? Just wanted to do a uh, long overdue video on my Russian captured German Mauser. Uh, I bought this rifle when I was about 18 so this is basically my first uh, firearm I ever bought. Uh, and uh, yeah, I just realized I never made a video on it. Uh, I made a lot of other videos on other firearms that I bought of course and then uh, this is the very first gun and, and basically I never made a video. <laughs> so, well, today, I'm, after all these years, uh, I'm making a video. Like I said, I was 18 at the time, and now I'm 30, so I've had it for quite some time now. And uh, so, yeah, it's just a run of a mill Russian captured, nothing real fancy or special. Of course, none of the parts are basically matching or nothing. Uh, mine did come with a uh, straight bolt. I did buy another uh, bolt assembly for it. I do have a turn down bolt also. Uh, but for now I put the uh, straight bolt on there. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna, just of course has your uh, typical uh, laminated uh, stock on it with the cup butt plate. Uh, here's some of the markings here on the magazine floor plate. And it does have the, uh, the little locking uh, set screws uh, that locks the, uh, the bolts on, or the, uh, the main screws. I guess a lot of the Russian captured ones they didn't include that, so it's nice that it does have it. I did put a aftermarket sling on there, uh, and one thing I do want is a uh, sight hood for it because uh, I've cut myself numerous times cleaning this gun, and uh, plus I just want the, you know to have the hood on there. I do not want a aftermarket one. Those things I heard are like not really they they don't really have good spring tension. Uh, plus I want it to be more period correct and everything. I don't want some cheap, uh, shiny, fake looking sight hood on there, you know. Uh, but <clears throat> anyways, here's the other side. There's some numbers here. Sorry for the uh, camera work. And then, uh, of course, the Model 98. Here's some, another Waffen. The eagle, and of course, there's one here that is peened out, which is typical of the Russian captured. And this one basically appears not to be peened out, it's which is pretty cool. I mean, it's kind of a shame that they uh, uh, peened them out, but you know, as of the time, and the Nazis were the bad guys, so they're trying to. Uh, I guess for disrespectful reasons, he probably did that. Just uh, disrespect them, you know. But uh, I don't know. Who knows? <laughs> but uh, anyway, so yeah, this is a uh, AR code, 1943. Of course, another Waffen there. And uh, yeah, there's a little bit of writing in the barrel there. I mean, I don't know what it exactly it uh, says. It's hard to tell, of course, you know, with this, without taking the stock off. But yeah, so that's it. Just a run-of-the-mill Russian captured uh, uh, K98 Mauser. Uh, it's, it's an awesome gun. Uh, shoots real good. I never really uh, patterned it or nothing to see, you know, how well it actually groups and stuff. Because uh, at the time, uh, I didn't belong to the club that I belong to now. So it was just basically in somebody's backyard just shooting bottles and stuff so I didn't really get to uh, I only did a few rounds at the time only maybe like 20 or 40 of that and uh, so I really haven't put too many rounds through this gun uh, I haven't shot it in, in years uh, which is a shame I need to go out there and do that but uh, you know anymore it's just so hard to get this ammo uh, locally and stuff you know and it's kind of you know I'd rather try to buy it locally and uh, but I guess most of the time I'm going to have to off sort or uh, you know, or go to uh, online websites, of course. But, uh, but other than that, you know, that's that's pretty much it. Uh, if you guys have any questions, uh, you know, go ahead and comment. And thanks for watching.